What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Boss Garage. Today's gonna be a fun one. Today I'm gonna do some arts and crafts with you guys along the way. We're gonna paint some stuff. I recently just scored a big Craigslist buy for $100. I managed to buy front and rear Brembo brakes off of a 2013 Camaro. Pretty excited about it. I ended up finding the ad. Dude worked at LKQ, pocketed them for himself and uh, 100 bucks was all it took to get him off his hands. So uh, pretty excited about that. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and use the Duplicolor uh, Caliper paint kit and we're gonna get them all painted. All right, guys, these are the brakes that I got for $100. I repeat, $100. Uh, you got your front rotors here uh, with calipers and pads. Everything's all set. Uh, I'm, I mic'd all of the rotors, everything's in spec. Uh, I took a straight edge to him, nothing's warped. He, dude said the car only had like 15,000 miles on him, so I'm not gonna bother replacing the pads or rotors just yet. But in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and use this Duplicolor caliper paint right here, and we're gonna go ahead and paint the fronts. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna work on the rear just yet, uh, because for the third gen Camaro, I'm gonna have to buy additional brackets and everything for that uh, and I'm just not too sure if I want to do that not to mention I run 15 inch wheels for my drag radials and that would require bigger wheels let's take a look so we have some caliper cleaner uh, so just your typical brake cleaner and stuff we have caliper paint uh, this is a brush on I'm really excited to use this because the current brakes that are on there were painted on with caliper paint and it's kind of wipes off once you spill a little bit of brake fluid on there and then we have some masking tape uh, and a brush and a mixing spoon uh, so let's go ahead and give this a shot I went ahead and hit them with a wire wheel uh, just to scrape off all of the super hard stuff on there um, brake pads are out I'm gonna just go ahead and hit them with this brake cleaner Now that our calipers are all clean, uh, we can paint. Uh, instructions basically just say uh, spray them all down, wipe them all good, make sure there's no more brake dust on it. Uh, for the paint, all we gotta do is pop the lid off. Uh, we're gonna use the little brush that's included, or the little stick that's included. Uh, we have to mix it up for a minute. We're not mixing anything in, we're just stirring it. Uh, and then after that, we literally just brush it on. So I can tell why they say to mix it, the bottom feels way thicker than the top does. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stir this for 60 seconds or until it feels all mixed in. Uh, the paint's all mixed, so I guess now all we do is brush it on. Make sure there's no loose hairs in my brush. So just uh, I have really shaky hands, so I'm interested to see how this works out. So this is probably gonna go on in coats.
All right, guys. You can see I've got just about all the coats of paint on them. Uh, they're currently drying. They don't look smooth. I mean, you can definitely see the areas where I brushed it on thicker than the rest. Um, but honestly, I'm not that worried about them. Their brakes are going to be covered in dust. And as long as they're red and I can slap a Brembo sticker on there, I think they're going to look pretty good. But we're going to let them sit for a little bit and bake. And then we'll come out and check them out. All right, the paint is finally dry. So we can go ahead and add our stickers. Just got these in the mail from Amazon Prime for only $7, such a rip off, but uh, you get all four fronts and rears. Scratch the paint already. All right. Oh, doesn't look super professional, but fuck it. Boom. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Came out pretty good. Not complaining. Doesn't look absolutely perfect, but oh well. All right, so my thoughts on this Dupli color kit. Uh, it takes a long time to dry. Um, that paint was tacky for like four or five days. I don't know if it's because it was like 70 degrees out or what, but it took forever to dry. Um, it takes a long time. It takes probably five or six coats before it's completely um, covered. Um, but overall, I think it's gonna be a lot more durable than the spray-on paint. Like I said, uh, the spray-on paint on my LS1 calipers, it'd chip off and uh, any time brake fluid went on it, it basically just like washed it away. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we got few more things coming. We're gonna have to get some bigger wheels to put it on the LS1 uh, or on the third gen. Uh, I'm gonna go over everything you need to mount these uh, on your third gen Camaro. Um, give you a little overview on that. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, just drop a comment below. Otherwise give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.